And please welcome the boxer to the blue corner, representing Great Britain. Yarıştıracılarına teklif edelim. Let me introduce you boxers. Ringi kırmızı köşünden the box in the red corner representing France Tony Yoko. Onun rakibi. Ringin köşünden his opponent the boxer in the blue corner representing Great Britain Joe Joyce. And the referee of this ball is Mr. Alan Birger Roos from Finland. This super heavyweight semi-final is one of the most hotly anticipated bouts of the entire Baku 2015 European Games Boxing Tournament because it features the tournament number two and number three seed. The man in blue occupying center ring is Joe Joyce, the number two ranked, the number two seed in the tournament, representing Great Britain, and his opponent is the tournament number three seed, Tony Oka. You're looking good. Stylish as always. Both of these men stand six foot six, but they have vastly different methods of boxing. Beautiful left jab on Tony Yoka, who's a Look at those pants! Joe Joyce. Damn, Danny. A terrific engine. He's a really effective stalker of his opponents. Cuts off the ring effectively. And let's go with hammer blows. And he gets himself into punching range. Which one of those qualities will come out on top in the semi-final bout to determine who will challenge the European Games goal? Good use of the jab from Yoko once again. 23 years of age, the man in red. Good right hook around the corner from Yoko. His movement is beginning this opening round very well indeed. Right hand from Joyce wasn't too far away. Joe Joyce keeps on coming, looking to close the distance. Yoko's going to have to possess a really good gas tank to keep boxing on the back foot and keep this man at bay. Both of them experienced in World Series boxing as Yoko got through with a terrific left jab. Joe Joyce responded with the same shot and works away to the body in an effort to slow down that movement of Yoko in the later rounds, should it indeed go that far. Good shot underneath from Joyce once again before the boxers exchange jabs. Heavy punches going in, in this opening round. Concentration etched onto the face of Yoko, Joe Joyce working away to his body at close range. Good left jab from the man in red. Really is an effective shot and then using his feet to find an avenue of escape as Joyce was closing in once again. Yoko using his left hand very well indeed, but again, Joyce finds himself in punching range, looking to let go with his own clubbing punches at that type of distance. Yoko with another jolting left while he was up on his toes. Just from attention required to the left bootstrap of Joe Joyce. Really hear the exertions of both of these boxers as they're putting plenty behind these punches. 
action-packed opening round. Good left jab from Yoko once again. Joyce continuing to throw plenty of leather, but not quite pinning down this elusive French boxer. Very good round in a super heavyweight final. You'd expect nothing less, really, at this stage of the tournament. All four seeds made it through to the final four. The form book was followed. And this is the battle between seed number two and three. But Joyce on the receiving end of that terrific left jab from Yoko. Box very well on the back foot, did the man in red. Joyce, though, unrelenting in his pursuit of the Frenchman, did have success of his own. And Joyce has taken the opening round across the board. 10-9 in favor of the tournament number two seed. So given that Tony Yoka likes to box on the back foot, what type of response will that bring from him, the tournament number three seed? Having conceded the opening round. Yeah, Joe Joyce launches out from his blue yeah. corner right across the ring and he's met head on by Tony Yoka, who is standing his ground to begin this second session. And both of these men trading big shots before Yoka gets on his bike and uses that twinkle toed movement once again. The right hand fired over the top, but it was parried effectively by Joyce. Joyce continuing to club away with hurtful punches at close range. A man from the Earlsfield Boxing Club, Southwest London, really has come through the ranks impressively in what has been a short elite boxing career. Outstanding athlete, excelled in so many sports. Picked up boxing. His gate crashed his way onto the elite squad. He's the reigning European Championship bronze medalist from Minsk two years ago. He's hugely experienced in World Series boxing. Both men landing home with thudding punches at short range now. Uppercuts and hooks being dug in. Yeah, yeah, no, Yoko up on his toes, but how much longer will he be able to continue with that type of balletic yeah, movement? He continues to take hard shots so like this, particularly to the body. Right hand over the top from Joyce, and a left hand as well. Yoko bravely digs in and fires back with shots underneath of his own. Unlike Joyce, he has been a long-time boxer, competed in the first Youth Olympic Games back in Singapore. Singapore 2010 came away with youth <laughs> Olympic gold and their shots continuing to be hammered home by both boxers as they stand at close range they're both six foot six with long levers but this is where the work is being done here good jab by Yoka as it's back to distance once again but has his movement slowed Yoka is he being forced into a flat foot of hard punching exchange with Joe Joyce because surely this is Joyce's strong suit this is how he wears opponents down in World Series boxing. Good left jab from Yoko once again. He finished at number two in that five round tournament. Unfortunately for him, there was only one Olympic selection placed up for grabs and that went to the number one spot, which was earned by Philippe Hergovic. Big uppercut, fired by Joyce, which misses. So Joyce still in pursuit of a place for Rio 2016, as is Tony Yoka. Terrific action this. Yoka breathing through an open mouth now. Not up on his toes as much as he was. And that may not just be fatigue, it's because of the fact that he conceded the opening round and he's chosen to stand and fight. But this is Joe Joyce's strong suit. And he continues to come forwards as both men trading shots in a big second round. There's a big right hand from Yoka just before the bell and that was all action for three minutes from two six foot six inch super heavyweights excellent use of the left hand from Joyce the heavy jab that he possesses and that's a cracking right uppercut Yoka landing, some clean shots as well. Joyce has taken both of the completed rounds, so Yoka really going to have to go for broke here. It's going to be very difficult to win the bout on the back foot. So Yoka 
choose to plant his feet and have a fight with Joe Joyce. That, from my way of thinking, is playing into this man's hands. Let's see how the third and final round transpires here in Baku. So we're into the third and final round and Joe Joyce comes out firing a fusillade of punches against Tony Yoka, who has conceded the opening two rounds. In the first round, it was a case of the dancing master against Destruction Incorporated. But Yoka conceded the opening round. And so since then, has been forced to increasingly stand and trade with the man in blue. But this is Joyce's hallmark. This is the manner in which he boxes. He has seemingly boundless reserves of energy. Terrific athlete. And his pace hasn't dropped, whereas Yoka is breathing through an open mouth. He appears to be feeling the pace more, but to his credit, he's continuing to compete. This is the furthest that Joe Joyce has been. What a right hand over the top from Yoka. But in Joe Joyce's two previous outings, he's got his opponent out of there in the opening round. And he's boxing beautifully here, but again takes another right hand flush. Does possess a good set of whiskers, Joe Joyce. Can be caught cold, but seeing as he's negotiated the opening round successfully, that's when I've seen him stopped in the past, such as in his European Championship tournament in Minsk a couple of years ago when he was jumped on in the opening round and stopped in the opener. But if he gets through the first minute or so, then he really is a handful in elite Olympic style competition. And he's demonstrating that here. Yoka increasingly covering up now, but he needs to be letting his hands go because he needs to find the punch of a lifetime if he hopes to overturn the two round deficit that he faces. Joyce, not difficult to find. He's standing there within punching range. Yoka is going to have to commit because in order to land a punch of that force, it means planting your feet just a little more firmly and leaving yourself in punching range for a fraction of a second longer. That's a good right uppercut from Yoka. And if you take that risk to plant your feet and put everything behind a punch, then you could find a punch coming back shorter, sharper, and that could well do the damage. Ring veterans will tell you it's the punches you don't see that are ones that knock you out. Six foot six from both of these men. Knockouts, not an uncommon sight in super heavyweight boxing. Yoka really has to go for it now. Does he have the energy yeah, to muster? A punch that would produce the finish because that is surely what he needs. Joyce though, right on the man's chest as the 10 second clapper sounds just as he just as he has been throughout the entire three three minute rounds. <laughs> Terrific action between two committed boxers. Nice to see that sporting embrace at the conclusion of the bout. But one suspects that Tony Yoka, despite a valiant effort, is going to have to settle for European yeah. Games bronze. Joe Joyce took rounds one and two. Yoka needed something spectacular and dramatic. In the third and final round, he wasn't able to produce it. He competed right until the final bell. One suspects having secured the insurance of the first two rounds, it will be Joe Joyce will have his hands raised in victory and will go through to the European Games gold medal bout. So Joe Joyce of Great Britain, the tournament number two seed is through to the gold medal bout here in Baku. Because of a unanimous points decision victory over the tournament number three seed, Tony Yoka, who took round three across the board. But Joe Joyce had taken the opening two rounds and that cushion of advantage is enough to see him over the line and into the gold medal bout at the end of what was a terrific encounter between these two towering super heavyweights. All action throughout the entire three three minute round duration. It's Joe Joyce who goes through to the gold medal contest. Tony Yoka comes.